2005, I was in the United States, I was studying at Stanford, I was doing my PhD, my graduate work, that I started reading these reports coming out of India that said it was to be the next hot zone here for people living with HIV. And that despite hundreds of millions of dollars that had been poured into this problem, that the knowledge levels were still very low. And it didn't make sense. How could you have so much money poured into the problem and yet the knowledge levels were still low? So we ran a number of studies across India to see what we found. And it was the exact same information. The knowledge levels were very low. People didn't know, can you get it from coughing or sneezing or being friends with somebody? They would give you, sometimes they would give you the right answer, but they didn't know why they were giving it. There was superficial knowledge. So we'd ask them, can you get HIV from blood? And they'd say, yes, of course you can get it from blood. You can, and so they said, we've read that in newspapers, we've seen that in billboards, we've heard it on the radio. Yes, you can get it from blood. So we'd say, okay, how do you get it from blood? Do you get it from looking at blood, touching blood, accidentally ingesting blood? And they didn't know. So it was superficial knowledge. So what happened was, we discovered, and it's known to all of us, that it's a topic that's very difficult to talk about, let alone teach about. And this is not just an issue in India. This is an issue all around the world. So once I started posting my research on the internet, we got responses from people all over the world. Ministries of education, ministries of health, leaders of different countries writing and saying, this is not just a problem in India, it's a problem in our country too. We need a new way to teach about HIV in a way that's culturally appropriate and in, in a way that it's biology based. HIV is a virus, right? We talk about biology in our classrooms all the time. So we should be also talking about HIV as a virus. So we brought the world's top experts together. Experts in education, experts in medicine, experts in health policy, communication, technology. These professionals, these experts, these professors usually charge like $500 to $1,000 an hour for their time. They donated their time towards all of these materials. Just like all of these celebrities all also donated their time towards these materials so we can make them available for free of cost to all of our young people to learn. Once we had developed the base program, we were doing lots of research and testing because we wanted to make sure that it was not just beautiful, but that the kids were learning and that they were learning a lot and that they were sharing the information and that they were comfortable with the information. And these are some of the results from the study in India. More than 98% of the young people that went through the materials said that they were comfortable with the materials. One of our professors at Stanford that teaches about communication around the world said that numbers this high, you only see it with Disney movies. So imagine, we were able to bring the comfort level of a topic that's highly sensitive to something where people were extremely comfortable going through the materials. Then when we asked them, do you feel comfortable learning about this from a tutorial or your teachers, or does it matter? The interesting part I'd like to point out here is that only 1.4% prefer to learn it from their teachers. When we talked to the students, they said, you know, we have so many questions, but we're embarrassed to ask about it to our teachers. We're embarrassed to ask about it with the parents. When we talked to the teachers, they said we want to give this information to the kids. Of course we do, we're educators. But A, we either feel embarrassed or we don't know how to teach about it. We learn to teach about math, science, English. This is not something that we learn to teach about. So here, by creating these materials through these animated, this animated way, we could give it to the teachers and the teachers could then feel empowered to give it to the young people. It was not only important that the young people felt comfortable with the materials and that they liked them. We also wanted to make sure that they shared it with other people so that you could get the information out. And here, more than 95% of the young people said they were so comfortable that they would be willing to share this, these materials with their family members and their loved ones and their friends. We asked them, who do you respect? 
and who do you trust, and who do you want to be the face of these materials? And they said Anushka, and Surya, and Shruti, and Siddharth. 